Hi, this is Nick Armstrong running for Fort Collins City Council in District 1 here today with Mayor Wade Troxel. Mayor, how do you uh, think the future of Fort Collins is going to go? Is it bright? Well, you bet. We had a State of the City address, you know, about a month ago and, and uh, the, the conclusion was we're strong and resilient. We had a, a amazing, creative, you know, tough year in uh, 2020 and it's really strong coming out of it and look forward to uh, the future for Fort Collins. Uh, you know, Fort Collins is a pretty special place and uh, it's a great community for all in our community. And it's uh, um, ever it's showing that even during these difficult times when people really come out and help each other. We're very um, cognizant of, of, of uh, COVID and our numbers show that where, um, uh, you know, the, the wearing the mask and although right now we've just taken them off, but it's really uh, uh, our social distancing and doing the things that we can in our community. As it relates to Fort Collins going forward, we have a great community and really look forward to its future uh, and its great leadership. And that's why I'm here with you, Nick. Uh, I look forward to your leadership in District 1. Thank you. What do you see in District 1 is the, the biggest opportunity that we have to make our neighborhoods more connected or, or uh, improve the quality of life? Well, I think District 1 is so critical right now because Northeast Fort Collins is really where our future lies in terms of our, our growth. And, and it's it's really a, one of the reasons Fort Collins is a great place is, is it's really been well planned, well planned for the future. And this is no exception. When I was born in Fort Collins, it was 20,000 people. Now it's 170,000 people. And I argue that it's better. And it's because of that planned future for our community. And with that, uh, the projects and so forth that are planned for Northeast Fort Collins, it's so important. I know, uh, Nick, that you've been very uh, engaged with the transportation in Northeast Fort Collins and the connectedness in our Fort Collins and the multimodal aspects of North Northeast Fort Collins. And that's also critical and that's in the plan. And what we need to do is to have the leadership to, to make sure it's executed for the, uh, the, it'll be a great part of our community. And I think um, it'll be uh, um, transformative in how we think about Fort Collins uh, because of the great planning that's going on right now and the involvement of leaders like yourself. In terms of small business support, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty heavily involved in Comic-Con and mm -hmm. Startup Week. Um, what, what do you see as the best way to support local businesses right now? Well, that's great. You know, right now it's critical because many are just operating on on, on well, the, all these tight margins, but even now with reduced uh, back, uh, accuracy and so forth, and and you know, I we really need to be working with our uh, small business throughout our community. It's those that provide the boutique kind of uh, services and products that uh, we really enjoy. And and right now we're in Old Town and District One, you know, and we just think about uh, you know we need to get to the other side and really uh, help support. Our, uh, our businesses and and with regards to comic-con and and with startup week and right now we're in startup week what a great initiative within our program and and Nick you've been a leader in that and thank you because you know it's that innovative heart of our community that creates not only new products and services but really our change makers for the future and doing it through um, our, our innovation hub and through uh, Innosphere, which is in District 1 and some other things, you know, it's so critical. So, Nick, I just want to thank you for your leadership and Comic-Con and, and as well as uh, Startup Week. And, and I haven't even said anything about the many contributions that Comic-Con has made to our community through uh, contributions to the library district and so forth. So yeah, hundred and twenty thousand dollars raised for the awesome. library district. So. And you've been terrific. And Thank you. Yeah, it's just been an honor for me to be with you. Uh, uh, you know, during that time, just trying to help support the great things you're doing. Well, well, thank you, Mayor. I uh, I so appreciate that. And uh, uh, is there anything else you want to say to somebody watching at home? Well, you know, this is an important election, and and we need leaders. And Nick is that kind of leader that really is engaged with the community. I've noted, I've noted over the years how Nick is involved with his homeowners association and doing great things in his neighborhood with regards to uh, 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 the, the mural on the wall and so many other things and really speaking out and connecting uh, Northeast Fort Collins to the rest of our community with the solutions. And, and Nick's a solution guy, he's an idea guy, he's a doer guy. And uh, that's what we need right now. Nick, uh, I wish you the best. Thank you so much, Mayor Troxel. I, I appreciate it. Vote for me April 6th, 2021 in uh, District 1.